Hepatitis C is a virus. It's, a, it's actually the most common blood-borne infection in the United States. Typically affects the liver. That's why it's called hepatitis. And it's one of the most common reasons for liver uh, dysfunction, liver failure, and actually liver cancer. Approximately 25 to 30 percent of the patients who have hepatitis C will eventually develop cirrhosis, which is a scarring of the liver. And it's a condition that may lead to liver cancer. And that's why it's so important to identify hepatitis C first. And hepatitis C also can be associated with other cancers, but liver cancer is probably the most commonly, and is actually the most commonly associated with chronic hepatitis C infection. In the community, it's recommended to screen all baby boomers, so those who were born between 1945 and 1965. Those are recommended to be screened because it was found that they have the highest rate of hepatitis C infection. Also, patients who have been exposed to the virus or has been involved in behaviors associated with hepatitis C, for example, if anyone has been involved in intravenous drug use, even one time when they were in college or high school, that, that is enough to be infected with hepatitis C. Those who have been on chronic hemodialysis, those who have received organ transplant or blood transfusion before 1992, those who have a family member with hepatitis C and they share uh, razors or soft, soft brushes with them, so that's another reason for having hepatitis C. So there are several risk factors for hepatitis C, but in general, the baby boomers or those who have been exposed to a risk factor for this infection should be screened. And in general, for the acute hepatitis C, the patient may have uh, fever, malaise, sim flu-like symptoms in general, and they may have uh, color uh, urine, uh, color stools as well. And, but in general, most of the patients don't have any symptoms for the chronic hepatitis C. So they, it's a silent infection, and that's why it's so important to test the patient, because the patient may not have any symptoms unless that they have developed a very advanced cirrhosis or liver cancer. That's why it's so important to identify this silent epidemic. For many years, the treatment for hepatitis C was uh, uh, associated with significant toxicity and side effects. So for 10 to 15 years, the treatment offered was an interferon-containing regimen associated with approximately 40% of the cases with significant um, symptoms, including fever, chills, and many patients decided not to receive treatment because of that. Over the last five years, a new, tre new treatment has been approved, and they are oral treatments. They are only pills that the patient will be taking once, twice, or, or twice a day, with minimal number of uh, pills. It's some are as simple as only one pill a day that the patient will take between two months and three months. And with that simple regimen, we can cure this infection. It's approximately 95% of the cases. So the treatment is very simple. The treatment is available in, in the United States and, and anywhere in, in, in the United States. Simply ask your doctor for it.